Here's your clicker. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, and that's the timer. So, okay. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bruce Kavar. Uh, I'm a, a CEO of uh, two companies. One of them is uh, Cyber Advanced Technology, and the other one is uh, Anex. Cyber Advanced Technology is, has uh, created a next-gen internet, uh, and Anex is basically taking advantage of that in cybersecurity, as well as uh, the cryptocurrency next-gen. Now, why I'm saying next-gen? Many people are under impression that basically uh, cryptocurrency is secure or blockchain is secure. I have a breaking news for today. Um, uh, the Coinbase, a San Francisco-based exchange company, uh, they basically stopped uh, the, uh, the, the Coinbase stopped the ETC uh, trading today, or on the, on the 5th. They realized that basically about 900, 219,500 ETC was basically did the double spending. Effectively, some group of hackers, or as many as they are, they have access to over 51% of the main net of ETC. So that's not as secure as we think. The other one is like uh, about a few months ago, like four or five months ago, they, some Russian scientists, they managed to take out the, the, uh, the basically the, the private uh, key from the, uh, from the general public key, which means basically that if they use the quantum uh, computer, which is 11 million times faster, than a normal computer, then there is no safety in any blockchain. They can go and take the private key and do whatever they want to do. So that's really not a bad news. The point is that blockchain is in development. Definitely is very disruptive. Definitely is bringing a totally a new era to the, to the human civilization. So it's an evolutionary, revolutionary, uh, basically, pathway and operation that's going to happen whether we like it or not. So that is our next, basically, uh, evolution of the uh, civilized human being. Now, our, uh, I have only three minutes, so I have to rush through it very fast. But uh, we have used our uh, uh, cybersecurity technology. Number one, we proved it in the marketplace. We are the only cybersecurity company that we allowed the hackers attack us four times, 2015, 16, 17, 18, four times, and every time with the elite hackers of the world, and we, we allow them to attack us and do whatever they want to do. All four times, they basically announced that our system is unhackable. That's why we call it unhackable cloud. And the last time was in uh, November 2018, uh, beginning of no November, in a very big money show, a very big show in South Korea, they called Money Show. And that one, they, they got four teams from the four different countries. And these are elite team of the countries, including Korea, that they won gold prizes, uh, gold hacking prizes like three times. So all these four elite teams from four different countries in Asia, they all broke in to the normal cybersecurity systems, the same famous names that you've seen, Cisco, FireEye, whoever. They broke in under 10 minutes, every four of them. And then they, they tried to break into us from the 9 o'clock or nine, 10 minutes after 9 till 5 o'clock, and they could not even make a scratch. Or the first step, which is reconnaissance, they could not do. So they announced that our system is unhackable. So security is very important, and that's something we already proven it. And some reporter asked me uh, why you're the only one who have done it. I said, well, actually, it's a question you should ask the other people, because we did it because we thought it's necessary. The other aspect is uh, performance. And that's, you know, everybody is talking, there are a lot of speakers, they talk about the blockchain and they can replace this, they can replace that. But in reality, uh, Bitcoin, the transaction per second is about eight transactions per second. Very human intensive, what's called mining. And Ethereum is 11 transactions per second, or to 12. Now, considering that, can be the Visa, which is 20 million transactions, they have a long way to go. In my opinion, they never get there. Which means what? Is it pessimistic? Is it a bad view of the, of the future? No. 
It means that the paradigm has to shift. The paradigm has to change. And for every natural phenomenon on Earth, uh, in the universe, we have a, basically, for, like, for example, uh, fish lives in the water, uh, bird in the sky. They're natural. Bird is natural to the sky. Fish is natural to the, natural to the, to the ocean, to the sea. Human beings that can be the great swimmer, like the, all these great uh, you know, gold medal winners that we have in the Olympics, but they can never compete with the smallest fish. Because fish is fish, designed for the, for, the, uh, for, the, for the water. So what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is, right now, Bitcoin or any of the character, cryptocurrency is about transaction. Transaction is about money. So you pay and you get something. That's transaction. There is no, nothing behind that. Human being does action. So we are basically trying to use the Bitcoin or coin or any of the cryptocurrency as money. In my opinion, they're never going to win against uh, banks if it goes this way. But it's not going this way. Because the future, as I put there, is about a smart city. A smart city is happening in every country in the world. And Korea started 10 years ago. In China, the northern China, they're making a huge city, only a smart city. What's the definition of smart city? They say smart city is by connected devices. That is good, but it's not complete. A smart city is about autonomous devices, which means that they're predicting by 2000, 20, 40, there are about 50 billion devices in the world. They're all interconnected. They're all intelligent. What is the meaning of autonomous? It means that they can make decisions on their own. They can, they can trade with another system. My, my phone can trade with your phone. Your phone can trade with my refrigerator. My refrigerator can trade with the something or with the, with the UPS. So that is the upcoming world, which is now we're not too far away from it. Definitely less than 10 years. So in this pathway, money cannot compete. Wells Fargo cannot compete. I don't care. The largest bank in the world cannot compete. So they have to change. They have to change, and they have no other choice. This is a force of nature. So in that world, we have a lot of autonomous system, and we have human being. The human being makes heuristic decision. The kind of decision that a machine cannot do. Machines at the highest intelligence, they don't have heuristic ability. We say we like the red, we like blue, and we don't know even why, because we feel like it. That's heuristic. Machine cannot make that kind of decision. So human being, as was said by Laplace, the, the, the kind of founder of computer systems, he said that uh, we should let the mundane work to be done by the human being, by the machines, and human being makes intelligent decision. That's very profound more. This is the person who created binary system. So the world would be the world that machines will do a lot of reliable work. They don't get tired. They don't get angry. They don't get upset. And then human beings will make the intelligent decision. So, so then action means that now the people could get rewarded. People can participate. So if you're a good mother at home, just being a good mother and taking care of the kids, that mother can be rewarded. And that's impossible to a banking system, because banking is about transaction, not action. And uh, so also in the company, we created the next generation blockchain, which I cannot get into it more deeply because it's too technical. But basically, uh, we are talking about the blockchain uh, kind of environment that can do 50 million transactions per second, not trying to get from eight. So going to that environment, we're starting it from that environment. Done deal. OK. So I'm sorry. <laughs> so these are the coins that we have. Uh, I'm sorry. There's no time for questions. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye.